odds are if you're watching this, you've played a sport at some point in your life, whether you played football, soccer, basketball. Um, and on today's episode, we're going to talk about how self-employment, how life is like a, a sport, okay? I played basketball growing up. My mom would not let me play football. But anyways, this video will be a little bit different, but it'll be good. Welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets Weekend Edition with me, your host, Marcus. On today's episode, uh, we're going to talk about how we can view our life through a sport, okay? Sports teach many fantastic things. Uh, I was playing basketball last night. I would encourage you if you don't have some sort of activity or looking for some physical activity, sports is a good thing. Uh, ultimate Frisbee, uh, swimming, anything. Uh, usually anything with the ball. It's funny how... And what I'm going to talk about in this video is how all the things that go on in that sport can be applied to life. Like, for example, uh, Vince Lombardi, one of the greatest football coaches of all time, he said football is like life. Okay, It, re it requires perseverance, self-denial, hard work, sacrifice, uh, dedication, and respect for authority. Okay, And I'm just going to kind of go through how my experiences of playing sports can help me um, be self-employed. We talked about before about the stadium method, how like you want to view your self-employment venture as like a stadium, like it's like a, a sports franchise and the stadium you're in is where your, your clients come so that you can be efficient and see them in a different way. I'm not going to talk about that specifically, but it ties right in with the, the sports analogy, okay? So for example, when you're playing basketball, right? And as you see on the screen, this is us playing basketball last night. <clears throat> if you look, this is very interesting, okay? The ball represents opportunity, okay? This goes to show there's opportunity for all of us in our life for things to come true, okay? And the goal is putting the ball in the basket, whether it's soccer or getting the ball into the end zone you play football or getting the ball into the goal playing basketball. The goal is what you want, okay? To reach your goal, you got to go after it, okay? You got to be aggressive. You got to be confident. You got to be careful with how you go up to it, okay? You got to work with other people. These are all the things that sports teach. This is why it's good for kids to play sports. If I have kids, I want them to play sports because it teaches you so many things. I literally have a mindset that I got from playing basketball. I see life as a basketball game, or you can, or you can see life as a chess board. It's just a really good metaphor to look at. Uh, being self-employed, even if you just have a regular job, this is a consideration episode, so I just want you to think about what's going on. And so there's other things too. When you go out of bounds, you lose your opportunity. Remember, the ball is opportunity, okay? And when you turn, when you put the ball into the basket, your opportunity becomes money. The, the points attributed to you are money. The points you attribute to the whole team is just money. And the time on the clock is how much time you have in life. It is so amazing how you can translate what's going on at a basketball, football, lacrosse game to what's going on. And what you know, how does this relate to being self-employed? It relates to being self-employed because the more you contribute, <laughs> the more you're going to get back, okay? You can contribute in a way that you can't be in self-employed versus an employee because you have you 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 own the team. All those people on your team are contributing. You get, so if you score 100 points, 100 points goes to your company. If you're just by yourself on the team, okay, you contribute a little bit, but you don't get to keep as much, okay? And there's other parallels like that too. I just want you to see how amazing you can translate what's going on in a sport versus what's going on in real life, okay? You've got to be able to push through adversity, okay? It's going to lead to my next point. If you're going to win, you got to be tough. This is what Tom Izzo said. He's the head coach of the uh, University of – or Michigan State University uh, basketball coach. He said players play, but tough players win, okay? And Dan Pena, he's an entrepreneur. He's really old, this old rich guy. He said that the number one quality you need to be successfully self-employed or be an entrepreneur is the, the willingness to handle pain for long periods of time. And I can second that. You're going to go through a lot of pain. You're going to have people who don't pay. You're going to have to do a lot of hard things that you're not going to see a benefit for for years. And can you do that? Okay. There's no surprise on this video. Um, but I just want you to think about everything I'm saying, okay? I really want to kind of drive that quote home from Tom Izzo. He said, players play, but tough players win. Is there's going to come a time in the game when it gets tough, and usually that's when the other team pulls away. You're going to have endurance if you're going to win a basketball game or a football game, whatever. A lot of us don't have it. Okay, a lot of us, when it gets hard, we quit. You'll see that in games. You watch football games or basketball games, the Final Four is going on as I speak. Usually the team that has the least amount of endurance is going to quit, and the other team is just going to go on and win, okay? And what you're in, in, in life, you're going to face opposition. That's the defense. It moves fast. There are so many things you can learn by just by watching uh, football, basketball, baseball, whatever. And this goes to my last point. Is okay, is that if you're going to win, the first requisite is you got to be tough. You gotta be mentally strong, emotionally strong, physically strong, spiritually strong. You gotta be conditioned, have, gotta have endurance. 
And you gotta have a plan, you gotta work with, work well with other people. So this is just how sports is like life. All right, I just wanna say Vince Lombardi's quote again. He said, football is like life, okay? It requires perseverance, self-denial, dedication, uh, sacrifice, um, discipline, and respect for authority, all that stuff, okay? You really, you really gotta push, okay? As far as dedication, discipline, all that, okay? That's what, that's the great thing about seeing sports and how it relates to your life, okay? But you gotta be tough, you gotta be tough, you gotta be tough. Number one thing you're gonna be successful with self-employed is that you got to be tough, okay? You gotta be able to push yourself when you don't feel like pushing, okay? And I heard, uh, somebody, I think it was like Michael Jordan, he said, when it gets hard, that's when he pushes the hard. Most of us do the exact opposite. When it gets hard, we just give up. But he said when it gets hard, he pushes even harder. And that's what I want to do. That's what I want to inculcate to you guys watching is that it's worth it. You know, the goal is worth it. But the win or loss is going to come down to how tough are you, how, how detail-oriented are you, and things like that. Um, but it's really cool to see how I – like, I, I like to look at basketball, how basketball relates to being self-employed. Okay, but what sport do you enjoy, and how do you see that sport relating to your life? Okay. For example, right, you may be thinking, how can I get more clients, okay? Win. How do you win in a business when you have more income than expenses? Okay, the score, the scoreboard, okay? This is, this, it's so cool. If you can win, get other people to get more money, they will recruit other people to come and work with you, okay? What's going to make the difference? Small things like free throws, What's a free throw if you're self-employed? When it's, someone just comes out of nowhere and is like, hey, can you do this? It's real simple and easy. There's nobody else that I know. Can you do it for me? That's a free throw. Nobody else has access to it. It's very easy if you just do it. Not everything's got to be super hard. Then in our minds, we make it hard. But when you have a metaphor such as a sport, you can kind of draw You can draw things down to size. Everything's not super hard all the time. Some things are layups. Some things are three-pointers. Like, for example, in football. The bigger risk you take, if you throw the ball down the field on super long ways and the, and the person catches it, the more reward you get. The same in basketball. If you shoot a ball from 30 feet out versus 3 feet out, you're going to get 3 points. The more risk you take, the more you reward you are uh, allotted to get. So there's so many things you can think about. I can't cover all of them in this video, but the main point of this video is like sports is like life. Okay, uh, Life is like a sport. <clears throat> and now self-employment is like a sport more so because it's so fast. It's fast. You got to be disciplined. You got to train. It's just different than working a job. It's harder. Um, and so hopefully you got some value out of this video. But just remember that life is like a sport and how if you watch sports, you can relate it back to life and it can make your life better just by learning about certain things. Okay. All right. And uh, lastly, as always, unsuccessful people that make decisions based on their current situations. Oh, okay. Everything's hard. You know. Everything's on the same scale. Um, life is just always going to be the same. And what successful people, you hopefully make decisions based on where you want to be. See that a lot of life is like a sport, okay? There's different variations in sports. Okay? Like I was talking about earlier. Like some things are a three-pointer. Some things are a layup. Some things are easy, okay? Like if you have a consultation with someone, they pay 100 bucks. A lot of people do that. That's a layup. You can't really mess that one up, okay? But when you have to do something really hard and there's not a lot of time to there's not a lot of time left on the clock. You got something to do tomorrow and it's very hard and difficult and it's risky. You got to shoot a three point with someone in your face as the time goes off and it goes in. So there's different things like that. But hopefully you got something good. I hope you have a good rest of your Saturday, but take some time to consider what I'm talking about. Is life like a sport or not? Or am I just blowing hot air? Okay. Thank you so much. Bye.